At this point, I no longer know what to say in these introductions, so all I'm gonna say is we're back once more, hunting cigarette cards. In Red Dead Redemption 2, there are 144 cigarette cards in total, divided into 12 packs. Since making guides for a game that's 3 years old is completely redundant, breaking these sets down into 12 separate videos means I can fill you in on appropriate information as we go. And the pack that this video is dedicated to is the one that shows some of the technological feats of the 19th century. So please do enjoy the Amazing Inventions Cigarette Card Pack. You know the drill, sit back and enjoy, and if you're looking for specific cards, you can find them through timestamps down in the description. The first card is that of the steam locomotive which can be located at the abandoned church at Bulger Glade, which you may know as the infamous ruins where the Battle of Scarlet Meadows took place. This place can find itself to be inhabited by Lemoyne raiders, so prepare yourself for a bit of a fight. Once you've dealt with the raiders, head to the upper floor of the church and jump over to this platform. Once on the platform on the ruined wall, you will find a bird's nest inside which is the steam locomotive cigarette card. While the steam engine itself was initially invented by Thomas Savory at the end of the 17th century, the first practical steam locomotives debuted in the early 19th century, courtesy of people like Richard Trevithick and George Stevenson. My research is telling me that there seems to be a little bit of debate as to what actually qualifies as the first practical steam locomotive, at least when it comes to travel, but it seems as if they at least existed by 1814 if not prior. I'm not going to go too deep on specifics because it seems like there's a good chance so I'm going to get it wrong. I've got a mate who loves trains and if he sees this video of me getting facts wrong he's going to be very upset so all I'm going to say is go trains. Next we're headed to the bustling city of Saint Denis to find the cigarette card for the camera which can be located on the balcony of the building immediately to the south of a portrait shop where you can get your photo taken. All you have to do is enter an alley and then head up a staircase. If there are NPCs here, they can get in your way, so you may have to knock them out. And on the table of this balcony is the card for the camera. While the camera, in some form or another, has probably existed for way longer, the invention of photography is credited to Joseph Nisifor Nips. That just sounds so ridiculous when I say it. Who supposedly took the first successful photograph sometime between 1814 and 1816. And at some point in the late 1820s created the oldest surviving photograph. The card for the electrical execution apparatus can be found at Hanging Dog Ranch which can be found just south of the Grizzlies along the Little Creek River in West Elizabeth. Be careful, this location is often used as a hideout for either the O'Driscolls or later in the game the Laramie Boys, so I guess what I'm trying to say is prepare yourself for some extreme violence. Once you've brutally murdered everybody who dared to cross your path, head over to the main farmhouse where upstairs, underneath one of the bunk beds, you will find the card. The electric chair was initially invented around the 1880s as a more humane means for execution. In game we can find one being constructed by a character named Andrew Bell III, and through the mercies of Knowledge side mission chain we can see an electric chair in action. However it goes wrong, instantly kills Bell and inflicts tremendous amounts of pain on the subject. So maybe the electric chair is not as humane as people may think. That or the game is suggesting that the use of such execution apparatus can go so easily very wrong. On a lighter note that doesn't involve killing people, we're heading to Blackwater to find the cigarette card for the typewriter. On the western side of Blackwater you can come across this big bastard barn. On the northern side of the slope that leads into the barn you can find a barrel atop which we will find the cigarette card. The first typewriter as depicted was originally patented by William Austin Burt in 1829. Originally designed to speed up office work with neater correspondence, unfortunately due to the tedious operation of the machine it did not accomplish this and the patent itself was destroyed in a fire in 1836. But in hopes to cheer everybody up, here's a cow. No. For the card for Buck's revolver, we need to head to Annisburg to the porch behind the gun shop, which is fitting, I suppose. Please ignore the bandage on the shopkeeper's head. I shot him in the face to assert dominance. Like I said, if you head round to the back of the shop on the table on the porch, you will find the card. I suppose whoever Buck is is the in-game equivalent to Samuel Colt, who was an American inventor and businessman whose company made the viable mass production of revolvers. And so now everyone can shoot everyone, so everyone's happy until they're dead. For the cigarette card depicting the telegraph, we need to head to the abandoned train station at the Van Horn trading post. Here the card can be found on a bench on the platform. 
Samuel Morse is credited for the invention of the single wire telegraph amongst other inventors, and it's essentially an electrical point-to-point -point text messaging system which was used from around the 1840s until more efficient methods of communication were invented. Next we need to head to Calaga Hall for the card for the manned glider. This card can be found on a workbench inside the big barn which is pretty central to the estate. The card depicts Red Dead Redemption Stranger Mission character Charles Kinnear, where in his attempt to successfully create a manned glider he dies. You can find a couple of downed gliders in the open world of Red Dead Redemption 2. One has a dead body in it and the other doesn't but has Charles Kinnear's name on it. It seems the man had a lifelong dedication to flying, and in the end this idiot wound up giving his life for it. It's a shame Kinnear never succeeded in accomplishing manned flight, because the world of Red Dead Redemption 2 is beautiful from the sky. For the cigarette card for dynamite, we've got to head to the back porch of the mansion at Shady Bell. Outside of Chapter 4 where this is used as the gang camp, Shady Bell is infested with Lemoyne Raiders. However, once you've sorted those dopey bastards right out, on the southeast corner of the back porch you will find the card. Dynamite was invented in the mid-1860s by Alfred Nobel. The Swedish inventor's creation provided a safer and easier means of harnessing the explosive power of nitroglycerin. Dynamite was patented in 1867 and was soon used worldwide. The cigarette card for the cylinder phonograph is located at Smithfield's Saloon in Valentine. Once you're inside the saloon, the card can be found on the windowsill right next to the piano. The cylinder phonograph is known as the earliest medium for recording and reproducing sound, which was invented by December of 1877 by Thomas Edison. For the player piano cigarette card, we need to head to the piano located inside the Bastille Saloon. The piano plays music. We enjoy. Yeah. For the electric light bulb cigarette card, we need to head to Dover Hill, which is a laboratory located in the northeastern corner of New Hanover. Easily identified by the fact that it looks like the workshop of a maniac, Dover Hill should not be difficult to come across at all. Around to the back of the facility, the card can be located on a crate to the left of the rear exit. The electric light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison in the 1870s, and by 1880 they were being commercially manufactured and marketed. And what do they do? They light shit up. Yeah, the lights. And finally, for the fountain pen, we need to head just west of Blue Water Marsh to the abandoned town of Pleasance, where the card can be found within the old schoolhouse. Inside, it's not hard to find as it's simply on a bench. The fountain pen is cool because you can write with it. Isn't that amazing? The pen depicted was patented to Lewis Waterman in 1884. And yeah, that's kinda it. And now that we have all of the cigarette cards, all that's left is to post them off to Phineas T. Ramsbottom, which as you are likely aware you can do from any post office. A few days later from again any post office you can receive your reward. $100 and volatile dynamite. What the fuck is a collector doing posting explosives? And there you go, that concludes the Amazing Invention cigarette card set. That's six sets done and six more to go. Do I despise my existence yet? Absolutely, but it's worth it. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That would be super fantastic. And with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point. But until next time, take care and goodbye.